That's the pistol that Uncle Lysha used to dispatch the beast. And it didn't end up in the in the river then. They pulled the truck out. No, it was the following spring. It got stuck in the mud. That's why it's all rusted. The only reason it was kept as a family heirloom was because it had killed killed the Sasquatch. <laughs> I'm finding out these things are, are not that rare. All right, as promised, I'm working on getting the Sasquatch head thought out. And, and I've got another one on the way. So I'll have two Sasquatch heads. They're not rare. You'd be surprised at the amount of smokehouses in the state of Maine that at one time or another had at least a piece of a Sasquatch hanging in there. Ugh. Even though it's been pickled in brine for, for like 60 years, it still has quite a... Wow. Ah! No, it's not, it's not thawed out yet. Yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like, though. I'm not doing this to, to drag this out. Frozen Bigfoot head, pickled. Do, do not eat. I suppose you could eat it, but it'd be kind of like cannibalism. All right. Uh, prepare yourselves. This is kind of graphic. Right there, look at that. It does have a weird shaped uh, vertebrae extended. I I'm not quite sure what the deal is with that, but that is definitely a bone. And it's not a not a stupid cow bone just sawed off. Ooh, and some, uh, I don't know what's going on. Are these are tendons or blood vessels. That's the fleshy part right, right there. I, uh, I take it out, but I'm afraid I gotta wait for it to thaw just just a little bit more, just a bit more. And as you can tell, it's got some heft to it. Yeah, somebody, somebody said, oh, yeah, he's got a paper paper mache. Paper mache? Does that look like paper mache? Do you know what paper mache does when when you freeze it in 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 water? It it, it turns to paper. Right there, right in here, is a frozen pickled Bigfoot head. I, I will, as soon as I get this thought out, guys will be shocked, amazed, Absol absolutely amazed, until then. And I'm not storing this stuff at my house. No. I've, I've already had black sedans passing back and forth here, so I'm not keeping it here. Now I know you guys are like, but Michael, what about the leg? What happened to the leg? I'm going to show you the leg too. Ugh. Holy crap. Ugh. Yeah. It's, it's not light. Ugh. It's a small, you can tell. We'll get this. Uh, I, the skin is like, I, I don't know what's going on with the skin. It, this, this leg has lost most of the hair. And, and it's got a weird, like, it, like it's peeling off. Probably from being pickled in brine for so long. So I'm, I'm working on getting this undone without damaging it any more than it's been damaged. But what I have done for you guys, I got a special treat. Uh, other day when I should, look, 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 I'll show you. See the end of this? Can you see that? Uh, I'll show just a minute. I pulled back the, the paper so you guys can see the, the, the femur. Look at that. And that's, that's not a cow bone. That is not a cow bone right there. No, that's that's a femur. And and there's some flesh. Nasty. Kinda nasty. It's uh oh, oh my gosh, it smells terrible. It, it really does smell bad. It's not an easy thing to I'm telling you what, man, uh you know people ask questions when you pull out a, a leg like this out of your out of your freezer. Plainly see. This is this is not paper mache, man. That that listen to that and look, frozen, frozen solid. I think maybe tomorrow this will be thawed enough. I'll be able to, to to open this up so you guys can see the rest of the the rest of the leg. Now somebody is saying that this is another this other guy. Uh, it looks like he smells like cat pee. Who's got some foot? Doesn't look anything at all like 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 this foot. It doesn't surprise me giving. Uh, how many of these things that there were in, in Maine. I don't know about the other states. I did manage to get some some pieces. Uh, I got some meat off this. That's what I sent to Iceland. 
uh, to Dr. Rohawk, the study of anthropological studies. I didn't send it to the United States because they scoop them up. There's a reason why we don't have Sasquatches in museum, and it's not because they're rare. No, it's the government. They're scooping up, just like they scoop up the aliens. Just ask anybody in Roswell. I tell you, it's pretty humbling to have right in your, in your hands the leg of a Sasquatch. Look at that. Even though they sawed it off with the chainsaw, because the bone, even with the chainsaw, bone saws really hard. And I, I don't know. They must have, you know, went around and then just kind of like pull, pulled, it, pulled it off from the creature. From what I understand from my Uncle Lysha telling me the story, they would have taken more parts, but, you know, by the time they'd gotten down there with another truck and righted my father's logging truck and pulled it back up on to, to the road and got their stuff taken care of, uh, apparently the logs had broken through in a couple places in the stream, uh, and the ice had caused an ice dam, and it flooded the whole area, so they didn't have access to get back to, to get the rest of the body parts, and they were, they were lost. They only ended up with the head. Now the second Sasquatch, which came from my fourth cousin twice removed, uh, has more parts. I haven't seen them yet, so I, I don't want to get you guys excited about it, but very soon, they see, they didn't want anybody knowing they had them, and now that I've come forth publicly and announced that I have the Sasquatch frozen pickled head and the pickled leg, they figured it was safe to, to, to give, give them to me. As they say, in for a penny, in for a pound. It'll be interesting to compare this head with the second head that I'm getting, which, from what I understand, came from an adult male that was hit by the Aroostook County Railroad. It was right my, uh, well, I think it was my great-great-uncle, worked for the, for the Aroostook County Railroad station, hauling up through Canada, and it was on the tracks. They used to hit a lot of moose and stuff, but I didn't know they hit Sasquatches. Apparently... They did. It was not that infrequent. All right, so I wasn't able to show you guys the head today, but what I did manage to... A special treat. These were teeth pulled directly from the, from the mouth. You can see there. I mean, look at that. Even though the creature was a female and was only about 250 pounds, look at the size of that, too. I mean, good grief. That's like, what, four or five times the size of a human tooth? This is a smaller one, and it's still huge. It has been brought to my attention that there's another Sasquatch. Well, the guy says he has a Sasquatch, but he hasn't shown it to anybody. I think what happened is, is this guy is copying me. Because I had the DNA. I had sent the DNA out. Long, I, wanted, you know, I wanted all my ducks in a row before I showed you guys what was going on here. I had, it's been kind of, I had to rush it, which is why the thing isn't thought out. I think perhaps they were using the Predator program accessing our emails because there was some correspondences to some people that I'm not at liberty to mention and I think that the government caught wind of this and he's a paid disinformant the guy flat out turns around I'm talking about the guy that that looks as if he smells of cat pee has a pigeon shitting on him all the time I mean good grief uh, I've seen homeless people with their hair combed better he makes a big to do about saying that he doesn't care if anybody subscribes to his channel or watches his videos. If you're making videos and posting them on a public platform, YouTube, social media, you're a hypocrite. Of course you want people to watch your videos, you dumbass. I find it a little ridiculous, these people that post videos and they go, I, I don't care, I don't want you to watch it. I don't care if you watch my channel or subscribe to my channel. Why do you have a channel? Why? I suppose people that are hypocrites don't know it. Yeah, they don't know they're hypocrites. Hypocritical jackasses. 50 days to do a paper mache, an obscene paper mache. What, what are you doing? The grief, man. I can do a chainsaw carving in an afternoon. Way more impressive. Doesn't know that buckshot's for deer. For bear, too. Legal in the state of Maine. You can hunt bear with buckshot. Double lot, single lot, triple lot. I am just trying to inform the public. And unlike some of these cockamamie nitwits that tell you they don't want you to watch their channel, I do want you to watch the material I'm producing. I'm producing it for you. That's why I post it on YouTube. And anytime you want the backstory, you can just zip on over to my Patreon sites. The link's in the bottom bar. You can get a whole lot more than what's going on here. From what I've been told of the railroads, they, they really mangled them. I mean, it, it, it's led me to think that we could probably find a lot of remains along the, the abandoned railroad beds. You'd be looking for teeth just like this. 
That's not paper mache. That's that's a real tooth. You know, I'm reminded from some of these guys, the guys that smell like cat pee, of Shakespeare's. He doth protest too much. If a guy's doing a video and he's saying that he doesn't want doesn't want you watching his video like three, four, five times, that means he wants you to watch it. And when he says he doesn't have any interest in a person, he's probably trolling them incessantly and probably have made five, six videos about that person, talking about them, saying their name. Say my name! Say my name! They can't stop saying my name. Stay tuned. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have this bugger thought out. Look at that. I'm the only one with a legitimate frozen pickled Sasquatch head on the entire planet. I'm the only person. It's right here. Yeah, those other guys talk about it. Did, did they ever show you? Have they ever showed you the Sasquatch head? But look, there you go. Frozen. Look at that. You, you can hear the ice in there melting. I, I got it inside. I'm melting it slowly because I don't want it to decay. I mean, whew, it already smells really, really bad. But, but check it out. Yeah, look at that. Can you guys see in there? Look. Freaking awesome, man. Just awesome. It's got the strangest neck vertebrae of any creature I've ever seen. It's very odd. Very odd bone there. There you have it. It's frozen in a block of ice. Look at that. Tell me I don't have a Sasquatch head. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. Look at that. Tomorrow, tomorrow, this, this will be thought out by tomorrow. And then it's going directly to the university. That's right. And I'm going to repickle it. Look, look, look at that. I don't know where the eyes... I was told this thing had, has uh, remarkably well-preserved eyes. I can tell you one thing for sure. That's not an alligator arm. Yeah, we're going to unwrap this bad boy, too. Check it out. Look at that. Oh, thing is super heavy. Super heavy. Look. Frozen. Still frozen. 